Hello, my name is Kuljit Jagpal and welcome to Informatica support video presentation. In this video presentation, we'll talk about how to change the node address or power center domain in three different scenarios, which I'll outline in the next slide. Here's the agenda for the presentation. When is the node address change required? There are several reasons, one of which is when renaming the host name of the server. Uh, another reason could be when you have a hardware failure and you want to restore your node or another heart or another server, um, this is when you would need to uh, perform the changes. By which I mean you need to update the node address. The next items in the agenda are the three scenarios I'll be going through and demonstrate how it is performed. Uh, note that in order for you to make these changes, uh, you will need to have the uh, privileges to log on as the Informatica user and be able to run the Informatica command line utility. Okay, now we can uh, proceed to go to the first scenario, which is changing the address of a node in a single node domain. All right, so I'm logged on to a gateway node at the moment. And um, first thing first, uh, every time you make a configuration change to the node, uh, you always want to shut down your domain. So if you have multiple, uh, if you have, well, in this case, we have one single node. Uh, so this node is a gateway node, and we will have to shut it down first to make the change to it. Okay, now that we've stopped the Informatica service, we also need to make sure we back up those two important files. Uh, one is the node meta uh, node.xml file, which is found under ISP config. Now, um, I'm currently inside InfoHome. And I'm gonna go to ISP config and make a backup of the node meta XML file. Now this file contains the port configurations for this particular node. And then there's one other file we need to go and back up, which is the domains that info file. Now that we've backed up the domains and find a node meta XML file, we can proceed to run the command to make the node address change. And that command resides under the server folder. Again, this is info home server. And the command is called info setup.sh update gateway node. And then we will need to pass the node address. So this node address will be the 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 host name of the new server. Okay. And then it will be and then you also need to pass besides the host name you need to also pass the HTTP port of this server uh where uh this particular node is going to be listening on. Uh if you're not sure about that uh, that port address you can always uh, go into the node meta XML file and uh, look for the keyword HTTP port uppercase P and look for the the, um, the value of the address there and then plug that in here. Okay, you'll also notice one thing here. Um, it's requiring us to pass the reset host port option. And this is an option that was introduced in 9.5, Informatica 9.5. It was not there prior to this version. So we'll need to add that to our command. Okay, now that we run that successfully, uh, we can double check the, the change within our node meta file. So I'm going to go back to info home and then go into ISP config. I can do a view on node meta XML and look for the keyword node address. And you'll see now that the uh, host name I've actually passed in the command is reflecting in this file as well as the HTTP port, which uh, did not ch did not actually change because we didn't, we're not reassigning ports but that was part of the argument that we needed to pass to the command. So that's where this reflects that. 
Okay, now that we verify the changes in place, uh, we can proceed to start the domain. So I'm going to go back to Info Home, and then I'll go into Tomcat Bin, and I will then kick off Informatica Service Startup. Okay, so the services should start back up, and then you can uh, now um, go back to your uh, go to your admin console and verify uh, that the services up are, are up and running. So that completes our steps for the first scenario, which is uh, changing the address of a node in a single domain. We can then proceed to the second scenario. So on to the next scenario, the changing the address of a gateway node in a multi-node domain. Let's proceed to uh, review the steps. Okay, so you'll see that um, the steps I outlined here are steps that are very, very similar to the, what we've done in the first scenario. So I'm just going to list them out here and then there's whatever uh, additional steps we need to perform, I'll go through that after the steps. So first is you want to shut down the gateway node. Now given this is a multi-node uh, multi domain, uh, you may have worker nodes on this as, on here as well. So you want to shut down those first before you shut down the gateway node. Um, and after you've done all that, uh, you, wanna, you want to proceed to back up the node meta XML file and the domains info file, like we did in the last exercise. And then you can then proceed to perform the uh, info setup update gateway uh, node command. Uh, again, just to review in the syntax, uh, info home slash server slash info setup that sh uh, then uh, update gateway node and then minus node address or you can say node address or minus an a uh, you want to pass it a new host name again and that's long uh, uh, with the uh, associate uh, HTTP port and you also want to pass this reset host true uh, hey reset host port true okay and then last step would be starting the gateway node and for that, you want to run the infra, uh, infra service that has a startup command, which we also went through in the last exercise. Okay, so we just took care of updating the node address of the master gateway in the domain. Now, in order for you to update all the, uh, the node addresses in the domains infra for all the other nodes in the domain, you need to run this command called info cmd sh isp update gateway info and then you need to pass a domain name which you can grab from the domain set info file and then you need to also give it the name of the master gateway node which whose uh, address just changed and the port number of the gateway so I'm using the same port number here because that's what I've defined for all the nodes in the in my cluster or in my uh, in my informatica domain so you need to pass that and make sure this is the port uh, that uh, you will um, actually you can get this port from the domain set info file uh, when you look for the uh, the host information in the domain set file you will see after the host name there is a port number okay I will now run this command Okay, as you can see here that um, the gateway information for domain has been updated on to point to the new host and that port number. Okay, so by doing this step, now we have updated all the gateway nodes, or once you've performed this command on all the gateway nodes, you have now updated all of them to point to this domain, or to the updated address of the domain. Now, if you have uh, worker nodes within your multi-node domain, uh, the steps are slightly different for the worker nodes. First, what you need to do is you need to shut down the worker node. You know, again, the same command, infra service at sh shut down uh, once logged onto the worker node. I'll demo that here. After the worker node has been shut down, um, we can then proceed to run the info setup command. Uh, for the worker nodes, you, there's, a special, there's a special option called 
update worker node so you can point the worker node to the new gateway address which is again the one we define as the master gateway node uh, whose host name changed to the new name so we'll give it the new gateway address uh, which is again PCST LX57 and then the, the HTTP port of that gateway node um, and uh, this will be again this is something that you would only need to perform on the worker nodes uh, what this does is it will go into the node meta XML file the worker node and change the gateway address there now I'm not going to execute this command here because I'm not on an actual worker nodes and it's going to error out if you try to run it on a get on a gateway node um, after you've completed this command you then can start the worker node back up um, for it to you know take the uh, changes and then um, again once you've completed this in one worker node you need to go do the same thing uh, the follow the same procedures on a another worker node so that wraps up uh, the second scenario and then let's proceed to the third one. Now this is our last example or last exercise. Uh, changing the, node, the address of a worker node in a multi-node domain. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. And here are the steps uh, to outline uh, what needs to happen in order for you to update the worker node um to if let's say it's a uh, host name changes um so again you know we're pretty similar exercises before you need to shut down the worker node uh now you notice that actually I'm only mentioning backing up the node meta xml uh domain info and not required third step is running the actual command which is info setup update worker node and uh, this is how you would run it uh, dollar info home server info setup update worker node then you need to pass it the node address uh, you can say minus node address or minus NA and the name of the new worker node as well as the HTTP port of the worker node um, again this is something you can obtain from a node meta XML file like we I showed you earlier and then um, you'll notice I put an RST at the end that's basically the reset uh, host port uh, switch that uh, I mentioned in the earlier examples uh, this is just another uh, way of uh, expressing that argument uh, by typing in RST. Okay, and then once you have uh, made that, uh, completed that step, uh, you can then proceed to start the worker node. And um, that pretty much uh, sums it up for scenario number three. So it's much simpler setup, uh, set of, uh, of uh, instructions because again, you're only updating it for the worker node. Okay, so let's go to our reference section. Uh, again, uh, for any, uh, if you want to research um, on uh, the commands that we run as part of this exercise, um, here's the link you can go to. Uh, this is in my support knowledge base search. And you can uh, search for Informatica Command Reference Guide. That will give you a little more insight and examples um, on the commands that we've, we've used in this uh, presentation. I'm going to conclude the video presentation now and as always uh, we'd love to get your feedback. Uh, you can get in touch with us either by email or Twitter. And thank you for watching this video presentation.